Today's news for you, the flu bug. The latest stats from DHEC show the number of fatalities up to 17 people in our state. Emergency rooms at hospitals are experiencing an extremely high volume of people with cold or flu symptoms. Dr. Christopher Ballou is with Three Rivers Medical Associates. Doctor, a lot of people, in fact, I took a little newsroom survey earlier, and I said, of those people in the newsroom, how many of you have gotten the flu shot? Only two yeah. at, at, within my circle upstairs had. So is it something we get? I mean, is it effective? Oh, the, the flu shot certainly is probably the best thing we can do to try to prevent significant flu-like illness um, from, from spreading to other people and also uh, to keep ourselves as healthy as we can. Uh, it's very, very effective in preventing the flu and um, is very, very well tolerated. Is it still... Um feasible for this year though or is it too late? It's not too late. You can see some immunity start to build up in the first two weeks of, uh, of administration of the vaccine which would provide significant benefit uh, to anybody who is at risk of having flu complications. A viewer on Facebook, let me pull up uh, what she had earlier. A follower, Jackie Steinmeier, asks, does it cover, talking about the flu shot, cover if you get the swine flu? She says she's heard that the swine flu is here and, it's, and we're starting to see it in South Carolina. Does the flu shot cover the swine flu as well? So, so swine flu is, is one of the types of flu and, and every year the manufacturers make a guess at which flu uh, virus will be impacting our overall health and swine flu is one of those and, and the vaccine should prevent um, any complications from swine flu as well. Okay, but again they kind of estimate ahead of time, guess what it's going to be and then plan for that and what's going into our system if we get the shot. That's right and they're very, very good at it um, mm -hmm. and even if they miss then, then the vaccine still provides benefit as far as protecting you from getting sick from it. Can you help our viewers know the difference between flu symptoms and cold symptoms? So flu will, will start off as a cold-like illness or you know scratchy throat, fevers, uh, runny nose and, and those type of symptoms and but generally flu is a cold times 10. A lot more uh, significant symptoms, myalgias, fevers. Generally you feel a lot worse with the flu than you do with the general cold. That feeling that you've been hit by a truck and just your day is done. <laughs> and generally people with cold can function pretty well. People with the flu don't. And how many days do we expect the flu to run once you get it? Is it a two or three day kind of thing or less? No, it, it can be quite uh, quite a bit more once you have flu. You can have symptoms for up to two weeks at a time. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, so don't get the flu. Your recommendation <laughs> is to get the shot then. Yeah, I would say get the shot. Uh, wash your hands whenever you're around anybody. In, in general, if you're sick with the flu, avoid being around other people. And if you know people with the flu, avoid being around them. Dr. Ballou, thank you. Great yeah. advice. If you'd like to watch the full interview again with the doctor, follow me on Twitter at Dondi WISTV or click like on my Facebook page, Dondi Mercer Plank WISTV. You'll find my daily interviews here. And go right now to Twitter and send me a tweet letting me know if you got the flu shot or if you're going to and why or why not. I'm at Dondi WISTV. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you.